Hello Virgos and welcome back to my channel. All right, today we are doing a how they feel about you reading, okay? We are going to pull the energy of the person on your mind. We're going to say how they feel, how they see the relationship, and we're going to see what's going on with them, okay? Hello to all of my new subscribers. Thank you all for joining this family. We're going to continue to grow together, all right? So let's see what's going on with the person on your mind, Virgo. Okay, let's get this energy real quick. Let's see what's going on with the person on your mind, okay? Let's see what's going on. All right, so the first card we have is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, okay? The next card we have is let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally, Okay, and the last card we have here is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. All right, Virgo. So you got somebody who's really trying to um, work some things out here with you. Somebody who's trying to take things to the next level, I see. I definitely see them trying to talk to you about some things, trying to get some things off of their chest here, maybe trying to talk to you about the type of person you are. Maybe they feel like you're controlling or maybe they have kind of like an OCD type of vibe here. Let's see what's going on with your person. Let's get the energy further for the person on Virgo's mind. But I do see that they want to give you a chance here. This person can be new. I feel like this is a new person, especially with the getting to know each other. All right, letting go of control issues. I feel like this person, like I said, may have had a little bit of some OCD here. <laughs> some control issues here when it comes down to love and emotions. They want to give things a try with you. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, first thing we have is the Ten of Swords, okay? So they may have been coming out of a situation where they got stabbed in the back, okay? They got stabs in the back and they felt some type of way by it. So they allowed themselves to be in a state where they were just defeated by this. But I feel like you might be giving them some clarity here. You might be giving them some hope in regards to a better relationship or something that can help get them up off the ground. But right now, I feel like, you know, this can take some time. I feel like whoever this person is, you may have to have some patience with them. All right? Because I do feel like that they are coming from a very painful place, okay? This can be some things that they dealt with maybe within their family, maybe some things that, you know, some things that they just dealt with that messed up their trust a little bit or messed up their emotional balance, their mental balance. Take it as it resonates, okay? Yeah, four of cups. So at one point, they were just not feeling any type of love here. They weren't feeling like they didn't want any offer. They kind of were in a mental state of just like, I'm just going to focus on me and I'm just going to do me here. And it's just like, I'm not really even paying attention to any other offers going on. I do feel like they can be somebody who's attractive and there were people who were maybe trying to come into this person's energy, maybe trying to take this person out on a date here. But for some reason... They were just not having it. They weren't feeling any type of way about it. They just didn't want to be dealing with it, okay? And I feel like this could have been you as well, maybe giving this person some offers, maybe trying to, you know, help this person out, maybe trying to talk to this person and trying to see what was going on with them. I feel like that um, you may be offered a couple times, or you may be, you know, it was just like, a, you know, easing your way in here. It was like you were trying to ease your way in here, but this person was kind of a brick wall. But now I feel like, like, like the car said, it's like um, getting to know each other. So I feel like the more you guys are maybe spending some time, maybe this person took the offer. Obviously, this person took the offer and... Is trying to see what's going on here, but I do feel like you do have to be patient with this person. Yeah, they're gaining some, they're, they're looking at things differently here. They maybe are seeing things can actually be a little bit prosperous with you. They maybe may be feeling like, all right, let me actually give this a chance, you know, let me give this a try here. Let me see, because you might be showing them something different. I feel like with you, they're seeing a different side of you know, how a relationship can be. 
how a friendship can be, how, you know, a partnership can be. Because right now, I feel like you guys are kind of still in the friend zone for some reason. Like, I feel like you're still in the friend zone. This person may still just be really taking their time with you. But at the same time, you're helping them to see things differently. You're helping them to let go of certain ideas that they've had, like certain things that they've had here certain walls up that they had. I feel like you're you're chipping away at it bit by bit. All right. Yeah. Okay. The world card is in the reverse. So it's like there is some things that happened in the past. Okay. There are some things that they were dealing with in the past. All right. And I do feel like they're trying to close a chapter out here. They're trying to really close the situation out. And it's like, these are the things, the more that you talk to them and the more that you be around them, I feel like you're helping them be able to close that door, all right? I feel like you're helping them be able to figure out how to move forward from a situation, all right? Because at one point, they were just really just in their own bubble, like in their own shell, just really not trying to be dealing with somebody. This person can be very rough around the edges, I feel like. This person can be... Just very, you got to be patient with this person. And I feel like they know that you're being patient with them. And this can be the thing that's helping them see things differently. It's like you're not trying to rush into things with them. This can be somebody who was constantly dealing with people who just always wanted to just take, take, take from them. Okay? Like I said, this person can be very attractive. All right? So this person could have also dealt with people who just wanted to get in their pants or if this person can be very well off financially or independent financially. So maybe people were just trying to get to their money. Like, I feel like this person really has some things that they were very much so guarded. Whether it's emotionally, physically, spiritually, mentally, they just had a lot to give and a lot to offer. And I feel like people definitely took a lot from that person. And it kind of made them close off. You're giving them a new perspective here, which is ultimately helping them not think that all men are the same or all women are the same. Yeah, the three of pentacles. All right, so like I said, you guys are taking your time now. You guys are working together slowly but surely. It's like some conversations are happening here. You guys are maybe talking and maybe doing some things where you guys are meeting up. Maybe you guys were, you know, going to some functions here. You know, just trying to build upon each other, like trying to create something, you know, create the blueprint of something. You guys are like, you're trying to to build up to something here. You're working up to something. So it's like, whenever you're doing building, it's going to take some time, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. Yep, four of pentacles. I feel like this person can be financially well off. This person can be very... Um, good with their money so it's like they're trying to maybe keep them keep some things to themselves here they're not trying to talk about a lot of things that they have okay they're not trying to talk about a lot of things that they own um because i feel like those are the things that people usually go for okay those are the things that people usually go for this person can be a boss a ceo an entrepreneur company owner somebody who has a lot to offer financially or a lot to offer physically and it's just like you know they weren't they're they're just trying to keep that under control because for some reason mentally it was draining mentally it was draining three of cups in the reverse here so yeah they kind of were you know disconnected from reality for a little bit maybe just taking time not to you know just to focus on themselves not trying to be here in the towers here as well so it's like this person definitely went through something that caused them to um go within all right go within and then they got the queen of cups here so it was like this person i feel like is very um it's a good person this person is a good person emotionally and spiritually i feel like this person has a lot to offer they're just very guarded and i feel like when when you know you have a lot to give to people and once people know that i feel like they definitely you have to be careful of the leeches like and i feel like this person dealt with a lot of leeches okay um yeah queen of pentacles all right this person got it together all right this person got it together emotionally like and it's like whew, it's hard and it's just like lowering that barrier here okay this person can be very nurturing i feel like this person could have been married at one point maybe this person was married at one point um 
and maybe had kids. This person can be also maybe a little bit protective and controlling based off of the kids as well. It's like if you're not coming in here trying to be a father figure or a mother figure or something like that to my family, to, to you know, to help me grow a home, to help me actually have a life. Hold on one second. I had a knock on the door, but yeah, I do feel like this person is um, very straightforward when it comes to what it is that they want, what they know that they want, what they're trying to grow with somebody, and people have just been playing around with them, and they don't got time for that. So for you, I feel like you're helping them overall become a better person, helping them overall become somebody who can do a lot more and can help them, you know, release that, okay? Because the judgment is in the reverse. Um, give me one second. I'm getting my bathroom and everything worked on right now. And the people just got here. So it's a little noisy. But one second. I think they're moving into the bathroom. Okay. Yeah. So with the judgment in the reverse here, I feel like they didn't. I feel like the choices that they made prior to you or prior to, you know, whatever, weren't really good choices. And I feel like they felt some type of way in regards to um, the choices that they were making. All right. They just felt like they just, you know, were stuck here. I just felt like they didn't do what it was that they were supposed to do in order for them to get better. All right. But then here you come over here, making them look, feel a little bit interested. They're like, okay, let me see maybe what's going on over there with this work on all right yeah and then they got the king of swords here so this person is very strong-minded this person like i said they can be a boss a ceo or something like that but something that you're doing is making them change the way that they're feeling and they're checking you out a little bit more this is, whatever you're doing is something that's interesting here they may be learning how to love here learning how to open up here learning how to use their words a little bit kinder okay <laughs> Maybe trying to just open up some things here to where it's like, all right, let's explore this. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so what's the advice for our Virgos dealing with this person? Besides being patient, I feel like you're going to have to be very patient with this person. All right, I feel like you're definitely going to have to take your time and maybe see what is what's going on. All right, so let's see, Virgos. The advice that you have here in regards to this person is, yeah, nine of pentacles. So it's like, you know, continue to show that you, you know, you don't need nobody. For some people, I feel like, you know, you guys are financially well off as well. Continue to show that you're independent. Continue to show that you don't need this person for their money. You don't need them for their resources. You don't need them for nothing. It's like, you know, I can't stand on my own two feet, but I like you. And I'm trying to see what's going on with you, okay? You also have the Knight of Pentacles. So like I said, you know, you're getting straight to the point as far as what it is that you are seeing with this person. Come in with these offers. But, you know, also be prepared to, you see how the Knight of Pentacles, he's in his armor. Okay, be prepared to just slowly work your way to taking that armor off, all right? Because this person, I feel like, is a little bit shaky. I feel like this person is a little bit, you know, very, very cautious. This person is very cautious. So don't just open yourselves up automatically to this person. Just take your time with them. Take your time with them because I feel like the moment that you start opening up more and you know, they'll start opening up more. But if you just jump right into this with no armor on, they're going to feel like, okay, yeah, this person just wants to just, you know, this person just wants to take me physically, emotionally, financially, whatever. So take your time with this person, okay? And then you have the three of wands here, all right? So, you know, keep that, keep that plan. I feel like you got a plan here. I feel like some of you are knowing how you're going to go about dealing with this person, all right. This can be somebody who you've known. I feel like for some people, this could be your boss or this could be your, you know, but take your time with this person. Stick to the plan. Stick to the goals. Stick to, you know, just being straightforward, independent, strong, somebody that this person can, 
you know, open up to eventually and then everything should be good. All right, but take it as it resonates. So I hope this reading resonated with you, Virgo. If it did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see y'all in the next video. Take care.